Ten days after invading Belgium. Cause, like, you know. It's just kinda what we gotta do. Someone told me to get this. Uh, well, I mean, it's too silly. Well, let's grab that. Should have, probably should have grabbed that before. God, that sucks. I didn't think that it would expire that quickly. Ten days, show them what Blitzkrieg is. Aye. I'll try. I've got two heavy tanks. You know what I should have done? I shouldn't have um, tried to fabricate on two provinces in Belgium because there was no need for that at all. I could have just justified on one thing. Right, now, luckily, uh, February only has uh, 28 days, so. Counting up instead of down. Three, two, one. Bitch. Let's declare war. Let's go. Now, before you get guaranteed by someone. I'm just gonna dial these as well. <laughs> yeah! That might end up biting me in the ass. Ah! How many troops is Luxembourg gonna have? This is great. Now we're gonna get both. And Luxembourg has a lot of factories, I know that. Okay, the meaning of Blitzkrieg, guys. Let's go. Invite to join faction. Fuck that. Oh, it's them attacking me. Ah, oh, sure. Extra divisions from, uh... From Italy, extra divisions from the German Reich. Only one, you fucking. What are you a Jew? Come on, man. There we go, progress. Show these Belgiumese what's what. Yeah, my troops kick ass because of all the artillery I put on top of them. And now we're gonna need a lot more chromium. Oh, wow, they're already willing to surrender? Okay, well... Uh, no, 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 no. Belgium, take all states. <laughs> and turn. Done. So now, what the f- just let me fucking do the front line on Luxembourg. What the hell, man? Okay, let's, can I edit this? There you go. God, 
That wasn't so hard, now was it? So I uh, own a, a crap ton more um, factories now. I also own a, a crap ton more steel. So we've got probably have a surplus here. So we can reduce our imports, but we are going to need more chromium. So, available planes and reserves. Fantastic. I'm not going to go down the airplane route. There's no troops there? How do you know? Okay, let's just invade then. Are there really no troops there, or just is it that I can't see them? No, I, I, there's just no troops there. Alright, let's just uh, annex this. Oh, we're gonna get an achievement if I do this! I don't know if you can see it, but... Uh, probably get an achievement if we do this. Take all states. Done. Bitchin! Achievement? Yeah! United Netherlands! Ah, there you go. That wasn't so hard, was it? Hey, now I want my uh, colonial commanders out of this. And we'll start making a front line with the Germans, because they might not be coming. They may or may not be coming. Regardless, our goal was to own Berlin, so that's where the front line's going to be. And the... Um These guys are going into a different thing. Move the camera, it popped up on the other side. Did you see it? Shouldn't I get a big ass Air Force since all that rubber I have? Well, I feel like Air Force is a bit meh. I'm not gonna sink my manpower in that. My precious, precious manpower. Maybe! But I mean, first things first, we need to get ourselves some heavy tank divisions, so... Let me just add it you, give you a recon... Do I want to give them a recon company? I guess I do. But I kind of want to give them the, the mechanic company. Okay, this is my core state now, so there's not going to be uh, resistance. Oh, that's nice. Click to drop a nuclear bomb. <laughs> Dropping a nuke on Belgium. Oh, good times. Well, if that's the case, then... I mean, I, I'm not gonna use... I'm not gonna disband these, but I'm not gonna use them either. So you can just kind of go on a front line thingy there, that's fine. Keep him busy, I suppose. Could also tell these to train, because they should be pretty well trained, and then they give me some more of uh, this army experience shit. I don't want to use more equipment though. And uh, this airplane in reserve, like, what the balls, man. Okay, um, how about you? I mean, and me as well. How about you move to Holland? Okay. And then in Holland we'll uh, add some interwar fighters, I suppose. Engineers would be nice. Yeah, I want those mechanic uh, people. I want those mechanic people. 
So, Germany, how you like my apples? He loves me. So he's not gonna doubt me. Hey, Spain, you wanna join my faction? <laughs> Oh, they have uh, strategic reasons to be hostile against me? Well. So, ideally, I'd like to invade someone else, but I know I can't do that. Because the moment you justify a claim now with 50%... Uh, <laughs> the largest world tension has been generated by the Dutch Reich. Wow. Oh, that's pretty good shit. Of course, Britain might always declare on me, because they're going to be upset because I generated all that world tension, yeah. Kind of hoping Germany would get a move on, though. Can I diplomatize France and UK as fascist? Uh, I can, but I'd have to improve relations first. No, we're just gonna wait for Germany to do his, uh, his blitzkriegy thing, and then when he's busy with France, we're going to storm right through with our beautiful heavy tanks to show him the meaning of blitzkrieg. That's kind of the, sort of the goal. Now, should I get artillery in this. I don't think I should, because... Well, I don't know. The, the thing is... If I do get artillery, I mean, look at that soft attack, right? It, it just, it just fucking doubles it, man. No, it doesn't double it. It adds like 50%. Damn, Spain still holding a grudge from having lost its Burgundian inheritance. <laughs> yeah, man, they just... They just didn't give up. Build a fort, Kona? No. Oh, I looked at Republican Spain? Oh, my bad. <gasps> they would! Oh, but they're protective towards me. But, like, wait, what? Is he gonna be the leader or am I going to be the leader? Oh, this would be so sick, though. Am I gonna be the leader? <gasps> oh, I'll be the leader! Okay, faction name. Oh, I hadn't thought of this. This is the first time something like this works. Oh, this is great. How do I do this? What do I name it? What do I name it? Fucking. Oh, man, this is great. Oh, cool. So amazing. Okay. So, how do I call it? Baby Dorm Bastards? No, fuck that. Oh, how do I call this? Ooh, wow. Well. Okay, 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 okay. Um. Um, name, 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 Spanish, Dutch, freedom fuckers, no. Your faction name here is best faction name. The anti moth bewaking.
ABF, the anti-baguette front. <laughs> Even though we're going to invade the Germans. The fuck France front. <laughs> That faction. The Dutch Inter. Feminazis. <laughs> MILF. Militant lesbian feminists. No, I think the ABF is is a nice it has a nice rig to it. The dawn of the anti baguette front. Even Dutch Reich, famed for its faith and strength and superiority of its people and nation, is not beyond forming alliances with those they respect. Anton Mercer announced today that the final agreements had been made about the anti-baguette front, a military coalition which purportedly room uh, only for honorable nations destined to greatness. Whether this greatness is intended to come from building the ideal society within the borders of the respective nations, or by working together to expand beyond them, the world may not know until it is too late. Together we will never be defeated. <laughs> Nationalist Spain has accepted the offer to join our faction for their sake and ours. We will lead them into the future. I could make Yugoslavia fascist. <laughs> Ask them to join. Are you part of the Axis yet? Italy is a major nation. Negative 50. So how much is the... um? Opinion is plus two. I can move it up by a hundred. So that's two for every ten. So I can improve my relations with another one hundred. So that's another ten points. That's not enough. Aren't you fascist? You're supposed to be fascist. Yeah, he's fascist. Aha! If I were to improve relations with Hungary, Hungary would join. Of course, Hungary doesn't have anything. But Greece. Greece has got shit. I need to take shit and uh, grab myself some more coffee. So I'll be back in two seconds. Fucking the anti baguette front man. Damn. Betchen. What's going on here? Why does the UK own this? I'm confused. Did the USA uh, do that America for the Americans? They did. Shit. We'll have to see what, what we're gonna do. Is that nationalist Spain volunteers? I don't see why. I don't see why. Can I do search? Is there a search thing? Of course there's a search thing. So I never really... Oh, I can't move it? What the... Why? You can move it in every freaking game. What the... Oh, come on. Paradox? No, Paradox. That's a little bit weird. Why can't I move the... There has to be somewhere I can type something. I can't name... Rename things. Okay, I'll just type shit here. Be right back.
Well, hello there, welcome back to Hoi 4. Uh, we've got some preparatory work to do, because we want some tank regiments. Now, is there a reason for me to not train them already? And do I want to put some artillery on top of this? See, I could do it like this, you know. But then what's the point of... Because the speed of these is like... Speed is five kilometers per hour. If I added cavalry, it 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 all be five kilometers per hour. If if I make all of these motorized, then it's also going to be five. But if I do artillery and then Yeah. It's gonna be four. Right, so then there'd be no point in me making motorized. I mean, really, the speed? Is that really what we're looking for here? No, Anschluss. Fuck, dude. I don't know what to do. I don't know what the point of adding more uh, guys to that would be. That was one hell of a poop. <laughs> Guess so. Parti radical. Oh, he's getting quantity ideas. 